Hey everyone, Deltron here. Welcome back to another Mapcraft submission. We have a very interesting one today. This is SC Tactics Terran Heroics, created by Gas2. This is a, I believe it's a turn-based like RPG game inside that was created inside StarCraft 2, which is amazing. An evil wizard from the Warcraft universe seeks to dominate the universe, but to do so requires the aid of those from the StarCraft universe. Traveling across space and time, the wizard searches for someone to help him attain his goal. Enter an alternate turn-based StarCraft. Cool. So this is created by Gastu. Let's go ahead and create the lobby. Gastu was the also the creator of Immortal Siege, which was a top 10 entry for Rock the Cabinet, um, the Rock the Academy co-op contest, which was a lot of fun to play. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Just keep everything, all the settings to their default. Very excited to try this out. This is probably like within all the submissions for Mapcraft. This is probably the most unique from just what I've seen from the like the screenshots and that it's a turn-based uh, game inside of StarCraft 2. So it's basically using StarCraft 2 assets but creating like an entirely separate game out of it. An evil chrono wizard enlists the assistance of his younger versions, help the youngest wizard find someone to aid him in his task. Who's this guy? Elderly Chrono Wizard. I'm gonna get dizzy from this. I like his horse. <laughs> Looks like it's like been hand drawn on his mane, like the red coloring. Okay, here are his, his w young wizards. Young wizards, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, skip, uh, let's just skip this. That's a lot of text I, I don't feel like reading. Uh, so tutorial, we don't, I don't think we need the tutorial. Let's just play in normal. Uh, well, oh god, what happened? Oh, this is kind of like just a, uh, like a cinematic going on behind the scenes. So, I, yeah, you can see here, this is a whole, full-fledged campaign. There's, what, 18 missions total? Which is nuts. And, I, and it definitely follows the story. We'll probably just play, in, we'll probably just play the first level. Get an idea for what this is all about. So this is the plane he mentioned. It does seem quite similar. Okay. Uh, getting used to this power will take some time. It's so confusing. I can't tell if I'm seeing this present, the present, future, or past. And so many variables, so many possible features, so many alternate timelines, alternate possibilities. How does he not go insane? Little Timmy. Hey, who are you? I've never seen you around. Well, of course you wouldn't have seen me around. I've been off saving the universe. Yes, the universe. Just take a guess as to who I am. You're Jim Rayner? Really? I thought he was younger, but he's the greatest hero I know. <laughs> Excuse me, Jim Rayner, you say? Hmm, ah, uh, yes. I'm Jim Rayner, but you can call my grandpa Jim. Why did I call you grandpa? Okay, that's enough. Let's just skip this. A lot of text. Here we go. Okay, there's Jim Rayner, the hero of the What's people. Up? So this is turn-based StarCraft for you guys. How do I get back to that, uh... I don't know how to get back to that angle. But this is fine. So we have the map. Defeat all the Zerg. Although it seems impossible. I don't mean all the Zerg. Just the ones in the Pacific area. So relax. I know uh, Gastu has a, definitely has a sense of humor. If you guys have played Immortal Siege. Uh, you will know that. If a Rainer dies, you will lose. Because obviously he doesn't he didn't die at the, this place in time. Especially not the first mission. We can't let that happen. So lots of tips here. Okay, let's read this. Units that haven't moved are will appear green or on your minimap. Units that have moved will appear yellow. Units that have acted will be brown and generally won't be able to act. Okay, so we want to look for green and yellow units. Another way to tell is units that haven't moved yet appear to be walking in place. Units that haven't acted yet are colored normally. Units that have acted are grayed out. Okay, cool. Defensive units, enemy units at the start of levels are all defensive units. They won't make a move until you attack them or enter their attack range. Cool. So we have time to get set up. Enemies will spawn every four turns for enemy reduction buildings for the Zerg. They spawn at hatcheries. Destroying these will stop enemies from spawning. Always take the offensive and come straight to your nearest unit. So we have four turns before they start attacking us. For the Zerg, unless we incite them beforehand. Destroying the spires will stop them from being able to make meterless or hydralist dens. Okay, I did not see any of those. Enemies gain resources to make units based on the unoccupied mineral fields and refinery. If you have at least one harvester in either, they won't gain resources from it. Starve this enemy. Enemies gain even more resources than hard. Okay. 
Counterattack units can counterattack if both units are capable of countering. Most melee units can't be countered or counter. Okay. So, uh, fire bats, basically, and zerklings. Health deficit units with more than 50% HP will do normal damage. Less than 50% will do reduced damage. Okay. So, basically, units that have less than 50% HP, they're, ki they're tired. Offensive advantage, initiate attack will give you the edge in battle, increasing your damage done. Even if the enemy counters, they will re reduce damage if they took the offensive. Cool. Okay, we'll check out the the options. Height advantage, higher terrain, be granted bonus damage. Abilities, every unit has at least one ability. That's neat. Some abilities don't cost you your turn, so pay attention to ability descriptions. Use it wisely. Buildings, just like a normal StarCraft match, you need to balance how much you spend on production buildings with how much you spend on units. Harvesting, place in minerals geysers will earn resources each turn. The more, the more you gain. Garrison, barracks, recover HP. Oh, okay. So units inside barracks factories will recover HP. That's cool. When you select an enemy unit, it will display their movement attack range. Okay. Well, I'm not uh, familiar with a lot of... I guess let's move these guys. What is this? Cycle through all your units that can move. Includes units that are in other units. So I guess units that are, are in barracks. Cycle through all your units that can still attack. That's really cool. Your income every turn. Enemy income every turn. We can click on the enemy and they can see their movement. This better be good. Attack patterns we have the barracks this is really neat okay I, th I think for the start let's just put these guys on why can't i see their movement range cycles through the units okay how do we move w okay now we can see it so let's just fill up the geysers the mineral it said the ones closer to the command center gain more minerals so I guess let's put these guys on the closer ones. Okay, it said to get, go to options, skip movements. Checking this box will speed up gameplay by skipping movement of all units. spider man will still apply if they would have walked over one. Skip attacks. I want to see the attacks. Hide grid. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think we'll keep the grid though. Turn off wizard autocast. Make it so the wizard. We don't have the wizard. Uh, let's just let's just leave it as it as is. Exit options. So W is move. Let's put him in here. Go ahead. Yeah, I can definitely see if you're playing this a lot. Ah, you can me. skip movements because it definitely takes some time. Okay, we can make more SCVs, right? What are our abilities? Rally. We can rally. Can we rally here? Okay, abilities are so. It's, yeah, this is just gonna take some time. Oh, we can just rally on a mineral field. Then we can train. We can't make mules yet. Okay, can we train more? And I guess next turn they'll be bit built. I think we just stock up. Okay, we can't train anymore. To stock up on minerals at the start. And we should be able to make... We can rally up here as well. Uh, let's rally. Can I rally anywhere? On the high ground? Doesn't seem like I can rally. It's just showing all white. Unless I rally up to the geyser, but that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's just train... We can get Marines, Backbone of the Terran Army. These mostly former convicts are more than willing to die for you. Well, that's nice. Let's just make a lot of Marines, I guess. So, train. T-A. Okay, that's it. Sell me. So, all the guys moving can still move. I'm guessing we go for this base first. And this will be the final base. This is really What's neat. Plan? What if we turn the grid off? I can still see. Oh, I kind of like it with the grid off. <laughs> That's pretty cool. How do we exit? Okay, exit. Where can they attack? So what is their range? Three? So three blocks? I'm guessing? So like one, two, three? Okay. And their range is four. So one more space. Alright, so Jim Rayner, what is your ability? 
So you have stim pack, cost 10 HP, increase movement by 1 and 7 to 20% more damage for two turns. So I feel like the first few levels, you're just going to be getting the hang of this. And after that, you won't have to go through all these. You'll you'll already have been killing some hydrolysts by this point. This better be good. Just you can tell a lot of work went into this. So I'm trying to show off everything. Alright, let's move. How do we move? Just click. You gonna give me w. Orders? Right click. Okay. That's cool. Been waiting on you. Now let's send this guy up here. By the Sell me. Good old Jim Rayner. He had another ability. Okay, grenade launch. Built-in secondary weapon on the veteran. Gas rock, rifle. Effective against armored enemies. Does area damage cannot be countered. End's turn. Only two use, uses per veteran. I'm not sure what that is. Temporal distortion. One is gained for each completed level. Two on hard. Cool. We have supply as well. What's the plan? Let's see that we can make supply depots. What's up? Uh, let's just move them. Right there. You can't move more than one person at a time. On you. And then you will move up here. Okay, anyone else? SCV, we can't do anything with you. Alright, we can attack. So when I click good. this, yeah, it'd be nice if it just automatically. Oh, it does. I can't attack anything. It's grayed out. So. And turn, I guess. Uh, exit. Double clicking this button. Okay, cool. So you have to double click it. So they have the Zergling moving out. Uh, Hydralis on the high ground. This is going to be rough getting up here. And that was it for them. So we've in enticed these guys. They're they're upset. So we should move first, right? Uh, let's move. Oh, we got a lot of money. How do we... Oh, I see. And then we can take them out of the barracks. We can put them inside to get health back. <laughs> but I said we just make more. Let's make some fire mats. And then we can click them out. And then we have to move them out. And then we can... Aren't these both guys supposed to rally? It doesn't matter. Okay. Like, left click, right click. Job, huh? You just gotta get used to that. And Man then we have to move. Maybe if you just right click the on? the unit to move. It'd be smart enough to move. I don't know. Let's just get more more SCVs. Okay, how many? We can get build four at a time. Or we can't. We can get these guys out in the same turn. So there's just a lot of like micromanaging at the beginning to do. So left click and then right click. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Okay, and then W, right click. Ah, you scared me. Okay. Seems pretty good. Uh, we can't train anymore. If we can, we take this guy out. No, we have to move these guys. So you move up here, buddy, and then you can take this guy out. Put him right there. So there's just a lot of little clicks that I'm not sure how the, the rally system is supposed to work. If at all. What's up? Okay. So can you move, buddy? Yes, you can. Let's move you down here. How much life do you have? 180 versus 100. I didn't see if we can build any other structures, but we're getting a lot of money. We could even make another barracks. Probably. Okay, can you move? Yes, you can. And he should be able to attack the Zergling, right? And they can't counter attack. You gonna give me orders? Our attack. Red click. Cool. And we'll Arm do the same. Ready. Uh, we'll move this guy here. And then three three spots. He should be able to this attack. Be good. Let's attack him. Uh, one more Marine should be able to do the trick. At least kill the Zergling. You gonna give me orders? Attack the Zergling. Nice. Okay, right you've down. moved. What's the plan? Rainer, you need to move. You need to get up here. And we can always put you back in a barracks to heal you up. Right, Firebat, are you... You can't move. He's not jogging. They have to be jogging. I like the... It's like a visual graphical indicator as well. Instead of just see, clicking on the unit, you can actually see them moving. That's pretty neat. I think that was a good turn. 
Uh, these guys can still attack, but there's... Also, I like... But there's no one in range. The attack button is grayed out. Which is fantastic. Really like that. Okay, end turn. We'll probably lose some of these guys. But once we get this high ground advantage, it's, it's going to be great. Yeah. Bye-bye, Marine. Bye-bye, Firebat. Okay, but now we can bum rush our way up here. Okay, first let's make more... <laughs> More SCVs. Train, SCV. Okay, two SCVs at a time, I guess. I'll put just unload, unload. We don't really need gas, unless we're making a lot of fire bats. But I'm just, just going to saturate these mineral fields. Okay, that's it. We'll make another SCV and see what he can build next. I could just put this guy in the bunker. Or we could go attack him. My attention. Or we just draw him back. Don't Doctor, have to worry about that. Sell me. Uh, let's lay with Jim Rayner. We should Doctor. be able to counterattack, but Armed let's just get all our units in position first. Who wants some? Okay, you move too. Been waiting on let's get all these guys up this hill. Uh, let's start building. Uh, Marines, we have tons of money. Tons of money. And then we can pop these guys out. Protect our units. And then remember, in turn four, they Ready will attack us. We can move the fire bat. This is in front of the weakened one. Should be good. Can you move? Might as well attack. I don't see why not. Alright, attack you. Attack him. We could also stim these guys. So yeah, they they counterattack because they're not melee. Uh, Seven to twenty percent. So it is kind of randomized. Also, I don't know how. It's really interesting how you got the AI to work on this. I mean, this is no XCOM, of course, but it's not a. It's created by a single person, not a AAA uh, group. Okay, you can move even though you're not running. So a little strange. And then we'll just attack. We have to right click. There we go. Alright, he's gonna counter attack. Alright, move. Let's move you over here. And then we'll attack the Hydralis. Keep left clicking. It's almost dead. But we are almost dead as well. Okay, we should be able to take this guy out no problem next time. And we are full saturation on these minerals. Okay, you can attack. We should be able to take this guy out. Especially with Jim Rayner. He cannot attack. What's up? Uh, Jim Rayner, attack. Nice. What's the Get the guy out of here. Anyone that can move doesn't seem like it. And we enter. Okay, these guys are going to probably go down. Well, those second don't do too much. This guy is retreating. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So they actually retreat to like the, the longest range. I guess we should keep that range. Okay, we're almost up here though. Okay, here's what we're going to do. First, train some SCVs. Put them on gas. Okay, we can train two SCVs per turn. Let's pop these guys out. Again, I'm not sure how the, the rally system is working. But we'll, we'll figure it out. So what can you guys build? Command center. Barracks. Missile turret. An auto turret. Not unlocked yet. So eventually we can get air and like factory units if we continue this. Uh, let's just move you guys on gas. There we go. Sweet. And then let's get... Uh, we can move these guys back into our... Barracks. This better be good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You gonna give me uh, this guy, unfortunately, no. Let's just move him back. Fire with fire. We'll move the fire bat. What's his range? One. So he has to be right next Ready to the, to the zergling. Here oh, he's gonna roast him. Don't worry about that. Oh, he does AOE. Ready to fry. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, one shots the zergling. Alright, we can put this guy back in the barracks. 
Then we can train two new units. Abilities, I still don't understand that rally. That's okay. So these guys are hurt. I like how they're grayed out. Two. Should move this guy out of the way. Or we put put some marines on the high ground. That's not a bad idea. Okay, the more units that we have, also the longer this is going to take. Uh, there's a hydralis right there. What's the range on you, buddy? Four? So we move him here. One, two, three, four. We can still hit him. So let's move him up one. And then attack. He will be able to counterattack us, though. But we can also always move him back to the base. So we have to move him. So this is one, two. Here, I guess? I mean, he's going to die anyway, so. Let's just. We're going to lose this Marine. Now we can stem him. It's not end turn. And then we attack, so he does a little more damage. Nice. Yep. <laughs> that was uh, what I expected. Let's just get rid of this Hydralis. So we stem. You can move far further. Right there. There you go. Look at that. That stim. Then we attack the Hydralis. Take him out. Oh, I like. <laughs> he was swearing at us right there. And then the next turn we can take this out, so they're not producing units anymore. Nice. Can anyone still attack? Saying this guy can. What's the plan? I'm not sure. I mean, they're all. You can kind of see they're grayed out. This guy can move. Let's kind of start moving him up this ramp. We can just leave him up there. Should be good. This guy can move as well. Let's bring him over here. So it should be now all my units are taking their turn. Cool. All right, end turn. Calculate enemy unit enemy movements. Oh, that's right. They're producing stuff. Great. Sorry, Marine. So this is definitely not easy. But once we take out this hatchery, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I see that second colony. <laughs> I wonder what these guys are. Yeah, go for Rainer. Don't go for the weakened one. No. I guess they planned it out. They knew the second Zergling was going to go for the weakened one. So the AI is not uh, not dumb in this. Alright, player 5 start. Let's do our usual. Train some SCVs. Pop them on out. SCV. Yeah, just the, the rally. The way it rallies. He's a little to be desired. Let's put you in the refinery. I think that's enough. And we were only building fire vets. And I would like to get up here to build the turret on the high ground. Or just a turret right here. We just rebuild the turret. Like right at this choke point. Should be good. We should be able to do splash damage. Oh no, they're not in perfect perfect line okay let's bring you up here you cannot attack okay let's bring you up here to the high ground as well you move into the barracks these guys are still getting healed <laughs> uh, it's kind of annoying uh, let's just make another marine a healthy marine uh, we'll Bring you on up as well, and you're you're pretty healthy too. Okay, you're gonna move on up, and you're gonna move on up. So I, I think I'm I'm getting the hang of this. I feel like I could turn the move animations off in a little bit. Not not quite yet. So you guys have all moved. Fire bats. You gotta kill at least this one hydralis. Buddy. Stim up and then attack. Nice. And hopefully you'll be able to survive there, buddy. So they're only grade once they move and attack. Oh, SCVs? Nope, don't end turn. I like you have to double click because you could very easily single click that. What's the plan? Break it down. Okay, let's use your ability. Oh god, that's really good. And then we right click here. Oh. 
Oh, okay, so we did damage to the hive. Or hatchery as well. What's up? Not bad, not bad. This better be good. So here we... I say we just stim. And then attack the zergling. Yeah. Not, uh, not what I was expecting. But that's okay. Uh, he's still got some HP to re recover. I think this went pretty well, though. Let's end turn. We're taking this, this hatchery out. We'll have the advantage then. If we really need to, we can build another command center, but I don't... I doubt that we will need to. And I can imagine, like, later, like, especially in the harder missions, like, positioning your units so they're just out of range to attack. Like, building those turrets. Oh, this firebat survived. Fueled up. Okay, player six start. Do we need more... Ah, SCVs. Let's move you... In the rear with the gear. Let's move you here. And then we're going to build a turret. Abilities. Turret. Right there. Sweet. Range 5, power 80, 45. Is that the damage? It does? So it's just as good as a Hydralis? Except it has longer range. I should have built it further back then. Well anyways, let's come up here. It would be nice if like the units on high ground like got a plus, plus range. Seems like they might. One, two, no that's still three. We should do more damage though. Okay, move on up. You can't attack, I like that. It's grayed out, that's probably my favorite feature. Just quality of life. And we're just gonna get all these marines on the high ground. That's gonna be great. Alright, if we attack here. So how does this how does this attack pattern work? It'll do damage like in this area? I guess? It should do damage behind him. I think we move no. Ready to Move fly. here. We stim up. Oh, we can't. I'm He's too low in health, I guess. Flesh in the pants, you know. Oh, so it does like the three squares. So if if we had moved right here, that it would have da done damage to these two. I see. Ready to roast. I get it now. Well, at least we'll be able to kill one. Armed and ready. Okay, now Talk we need to kill these guys. Uh, let's use this. I don't think we need to. Let's just attack it. You attack the healthy one? Oh, they're both healthy. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, what we can do... Let's just attack this one. Make sure we kill at least one. Uh, let's train... So you got 126, so like one, two more turns. Train one more marine. Get them out. Get them out. And then they can move. So if we move here, one, two, we have to move here so it can attack. And then attack. That's fine. This guy can move. Yeah, one, two, three. He can move right here. I just outrange us, so it's not. It's not like we're gonna be uh, do anything crazy. We could attack with the SV if we didn't build that turret. The build it has a turret. Overdrive gives the unit another opportunity to attack. Costs 50 HP. Does not restore movement. Only usable once a turn. Interesting. Oh, so we can use it and get an extra turn. So let's attack. Nice. That's definitely worth it. Can we repair? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's end turn. Rainer's taking a lot of damage. We may just have to put him in a bunker. Uh, barracks. Okay. Very cool. Break it down. Okay, let's just get rid of this. Talk to me. Uh, let's see if the Marine can take care of it. Actually, Marine move here. So you're in range of the hatchery too. This better be good. Okay, sweet. What's up? Then Rainer. Sell me. What's his range? Four? So we move him here, one, two, three, four, he can still attack the hatchery. What's the plan? 
and then he can also defend the high ground. Cool. What's up? Okay. Attack the hatchery. One more time, it'll be down. We have lots of stuff here. Alright, let's attack the Zergling. Almost one shots it. And I say. We move this guy up. We attack this one. Alright, this one we move. We don't need to move, we can just attack. Should kill it. This Marine. Let's move on up. And we can attack this one. And then you guys are going to get into position here. And I think having two up there, we don't need anymore. It's a pretty large map for the first level. And you guys come on, come back down. Please. Uh, we could make an S another SCV, but I don't think we need it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make another barracks. So we're going to move you right here. And we are going to... It's almost done. Again, we can only train two units, so... So I think I, I got the hang of this. Definitely got the hang of this. Uh, we're going to want a forward barracks if we're going to push into that enemy base. So that's what this What's SCV going is going to do. How much is it? A hundred? That's not bad. Okay, these guys are done. Ah, you scared me. Uh, we could... We could just build it right here. I guess we are. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but... That's what we're doing. Alright, these guys are grayed out. Your income every turn, enemy income. So they're getting a lot more money, actually, than, than we are. I guess we could take this, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, and let's end turn. Oh, they're gonna get more units from here, aren't they? Oh no, we didn't sight them. At the end of this turn. Okay, so we need to kill this hatchery. I just attack it. It's done. We've done it. Okay, you move away. We could mine this out. Imagine longer maps. Let's actually... Let's turn on... I saw this open. Uh, skip movements. I think that'll be very helpful. The map maker... In the reviews for this map, the map maker left some tips. Saying that's what he does. I mean, which makes sense. He made this map, so... Uh, let's just get up Marines. Seem great. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're a fine buddy. You can get out. Then we have double marine production. Nope, not you. Okay, you, you just orders? start moving everyone on up. Armed and ready. What is the range of the sunken colony? Uh, let's just stay orders? right outside of its range. Oh, we should have moved them a little closer. You. you guys will stay. Armed and been waiting on you. Okay, let's move on up. By the numbers. So everyone get on up. You can the name of the game. This better be good. Fire that. Ready to roast. The then we can pop this guy out here. And you. Come on out. We have so much stuff. Now we're just going to have to bum rush this thing. We'll have to stim in. Get in range. Attack it. And then just lose a bunch of units. But we'll be okay. Okay, let's end turn. They should get some more units this time. Oh, I see, because we haven't been the aggressor, so this base is dormant until we attack them. Okay, if we attack here, we're still not in range. So let's use stim pack. One, two, one, two, three. You gonna give me orders? You should be able to attack, right? Yeah. Okay, so it does counterattack. You're not going to be able to get there in time, so let's just move you on up. Just move everyone on up. Uh, even you, SCV. We can make a turret if we need to. Okay, we're kind of like blocking our units in here. 
Uh, let's make, make some fire bats. So why not? It's interesting that you can only make two at a time, which makes sense because you might have one guy in there. We have a very narrow choke point here. Okay. I think we may have uh, overdone the first level a little bit. But, I mean, this this gives you an idea if you'd be interested in this type of campaign. Uh, this type of gameplay in StarCraft 2. I, I like it a lot. I think it's great. You can move these guys a little closer. Can anyone attack? See, it cycles through these guys, but maybe only have them cycle through if they actually can attack. That would be my my suggestion. And we could build a turret. We don't have enough money. Okay, now the enemy is going to be upset. Unless they just can't see us. Uh, Rainer, you can come on home as well. Okay, let's end turn. Okay, yeah, they, they saw us. <laughs> A lot of marines are dying at the front. That's okay. This better be good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Stim. We just need to take out the sunken colony. Oh, we can move. Let's move first. Then we can move right here. And then attack the sunken colony. Do some some decent damage. You're dead, buddy. I mean, they're they're meant to die. They're willing to die for us. So, I don't feel too bad. Then we can attack these guys from the high ground. Do some extra damage. I feel like I've handled this pretty well. He cannot attack, unfortunately. But once that Zergling moves up a little bit, he'll be able to. These are like our don't pass, don't cross units. Again, I kind of just want to stim all of these people. I like how there's hockeys as well. Uh, we can move them here. Attack the sunken colony. It's going to be doing the most damage to us. And then same thing. Stim. Move. Even if we can't attack it, we'll be able to uh, get rid of some of these Zerglings at least. Same thing. Stim. Move. Right here. Let's get the one in the back. Nice. Uh, how long is your movement? I don't think they'll be able to reach. Stim only gives them plus one. Moving by one, they wouldn't be able to reach it anyways. So let's just move these guys just into position. They can kind of cover our, our SCVs. Our SCV could build a turret right here, and I'm going to. I think it'll be great. And we could overcharge it so it can attack. Nice. That's, that's wonderful. Okay, move these guys on up. I don't even think we need to build any more units at this point. We have plenty. You gonna give me orders? Yeah, enabled to skip, like quality of life, like just able to, since this is an 18 mission campaign, being able to skip, uh, you can come out buddy. Like movement and attacks is going to be really nice. And there's got to be banked it as well if this temporal distortion is gained for each completed level. I'm assuming we can like upgrade, it would be cool if there's bank data we can choose upgrades to Sell me. implement in armor. And Rainer's just going to stay back, because I don't want him dying. By the numbers, boys. Can anyone attack? Again, that ability, uh, I don't think anyone can attack. It needs to be corrected. Like, so it doesn't cycle through the units that are grayed out. Cool. Really enjoying this. You can tell a lot of work went into this. And we can counter attack, though. Okay. That went quickly. Uh, let's attack. Should get rid of it. Nice. And then we just move in for the kill. By the numbers, boys. Do we have to kill everything? Probably. I'm gonna assume so. Yeah, it seems pretty cool that we can like move in with SCVs and they can help attack us. Oh yeah, we're gonna roast. Don't you worry, buddy. Alright, let's stim pack. <laughs> let's pick this go a little faster. Get right up there. Attack. There's a lot of, and with like siege tanks, like putting them on high ground, I think that'd be fun. I'm, I'll probably end up playing another map just in the future, just for fun. Okay, they still can produce a lot of units, so let's not get lackadaisical here. 
Not let her guard down. Slink, as long as we just keep moving these units in, we'll be just fine. Uh, we just make another turret. Because we have the money to. Stationary anti-spacecraft structure. Maybe in the first mission, don't like just have that locked. Since I'm assuming they can't build mutilisk or anything. Also, it, it mentioned a hydro stand. I don't see that on the on this map. Okay, let's end turn. I mean, they'll probably lose some frontline units, but that's okay. Okay, let's attack the structure. I guess it's a weird, but <laughs> and then we will attack the. Let's just stem. Do a little more damage. Attack the hydralis. Right, you're dead. Oh, this is perfect. Then we attack. We'll do damage to both of these guys. Then we move this guy up here. And then we kill both in with two fire bats. That's great. Okay, move you up. We're going to keep creeping with turrets. And also, if we have to fall back, the turrets will protect us. Okay, let's just stem. Have him move a little further. And then attack. This be Spore careful. Crawler. Armed and ready. Uh, we could stim. Don't, don't undo this too often. Let's move on up here. You gonna give me orders? Stim. Yeah, once you get the hang of this, you can just use hockeys to move around. Pretty quickly. You can stim your guys. Move them around quickly. Uh, these guys will just move up like normal. They've already been stimmed. Don't want to stim these guys to death. Break it down. And I like that you have the hero unit as well. I'm assuming in different Talk missions we'll have maybe multiple heroes? Not sure. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we can do anything else. Oh, we could overdrive it. Almost take out the Hydralis. So they should produce more units this turn? Or maybe it's the beginning of turn 13. Fight Might be able to just finish it this fire. time. <laughs> All right, take out that Zergling. And then we can move here. Attack the Zergling. You will move right here. Attack the Hydralis. Nice. Uh, let's attack the one with more health. Let's see. Let's see the... Okay, they only attack in one spot, so we have move here. Attack the Zergling SUV. You can do it. 17 damage. He did it. <laughs> and they can open up that room for that fire bat. Oh, we could have stemmed him and got him in there. So it's fine. We got this. We got the hang of it. It's not too hard. Again, we are playing on... Oh, so it's nine missions. You can either play on normal or hard. And if you play on hard, you get more upgrades. Kind of balance it. I see. So it's not a normal and nine normal missions and nine hard missions. It's nine for uh, nine in total. And you choose what difficulty. Okay, we could just forget these guys, but let's move them on up. Rainer. Okay, that's enough. End turn. Oh, we could have hit this thing. That's okay. Okay, stim. Attack. The hive. Alright, you stim. Be able to take this out. Okay. And I like that each unit has an ability. Really neat. Okay, you can't attack. Uh, we can move a little closer, I guess. I guess... Zerg uses refineries as well? Fight fire with fire. Not sure. This better be good. Okay, move. Been waiting on you. I'm wondering if there's gonna there would be an easier way to move your un units. Talk to me. I think Break it down. you just pop What's it up? open, have the grid available. Sell me. And then if you right click on a grid, you automatically move. Have the options for attack and abilities. And move if they want, but Not give the player the option that. just to, when they select the unit, show the grid, and then 
If they right click an area, it Been automatically moves. Like this guy you. can move. You're gonna attack. Cool. You can't attack from there. Bad news. We could make another one here, but it's fine. Player 15 start. They didn't produce any new units, maybe because they, they kind of given up. <laughs> They've realized it's uh, this be good. they're done for here. By the numbers, boys. I don't know why I'm, I need to get this close to this, but we did it. And that's the story of how we defeated the undead, or Protoss, uh, a hybrid. Help me out here, kid. <laughs> Grandpa Jim, Zerg, but you didn't defeat them. You didn't even make it to the city. Yes, Zerg, I knew that. Maybe so, but it was his, my first victory over the elf Zerg. Yes, the Zerg. Then what happens? Oh yes, I'd like to know as well. I mean, until a certain someone chooses the next level, even I can't be certain. Just breaking the fourth wall there. What? Who? But I thought you were Jim Rayner. Shouldn't you know what happens? Well, of course. But it's quite draining on me to recall the past of someone else. Someone else. Something long past. Cool, so that unlocked not only normal difficulty, but the hard difficulty as well. So that unlocked medics, so we can get medics now. I like this, this like random Warcraft 3 <laughs> battle going on in the background. Pretty interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, we can see in hard you unlock different things. So like next level, we would unlock factories. So you slowly progress. We get more and more stuff. We enter grenade capacity. I don't want to spoil this. There's some cool looking stuff down there. But definitely check this out. It's even a question mark. Let's we'll find out what when you beat it. Uh, level 9 on normal or hard to unlock. That's cool. So veteran, you get beat level 1 on hard to unlock. Infantry weapons, cool. Uh, so this definitely uses bank data, so I could come back to this at a later date and just continue this. It seems like a lot of fun. I mean, I'll, I'll just continue playing on normal, but I think that was a great showcase. Definitely showed what this has to offer. If this is your thing, definitely check it out. It's free to play. Search in the StarCraft 2 arcade. SC Tactics. You should find it. If not, just let me know in the comments. And have, have fun. And again, uh, Cassie, thank you so much for submitting this map. Really enjoyed it. Uh, you definitely have a knack for creating fun gameplay. So, cool. Alright, everyone, I'll see you guys in the next MapCraft video. We only have a few left. Definitely uh, check them out and play them for yourselves. Alright, bye. Bye, everyone.